guys, this is Mr. Jose from the YWCA with another art project you can do at home. Let's get started. So to get started for this project, you're gonna need some paint. I didn't have paint at home, so I made some from scratch. And if you wanna learn, you can check out the end of this video. You're also gonna need a pair of scissors and a toilet paper roll, just one of them. You're also gonna need scrap paper that's colorful. You can use magazines, newspaper, or a cloth if you don't have it. You're also gonna need white paper, and you're gonna need a green and black marker and glue. If you don't have glues, you can use tape. So for the first step, we're gonna take our scrap paper. Like I said in the beginning, if you don't have this, you can use newspaper, magazine, whatever you have. And we're gonna trace circles with the toilet paper roll. So I'm making three different patterns. So I'm gonna trace circles on three different types of paper. Once you trace out your circles, you're just gonna cut them out. This is what I'm left with, three different patterns. So now you're gonna take these cut out circles and you're gonna glue them onto your white paper. So once I glued all three patterns down, I'm going to take my green marker and I'm gonna just draw grass and stems because these are gonna be the bottom of the flowers. So once you're done coloring your stems and grass, you're gonna set this piece of paper to the side and we're gonna start cutting our toilet paper roll. So now you're gonna make several slits around one end of the paper roll. Make sure that all the petals are about the same size. Bend the petals over once that is done. Once you finish that step, you're gonna paint each petal with whatever color you have and press it onto the white paper to make your flower. If this step is too tricky, you can just take the whole paper roll and dip it in paint and then stamp it. repeat these steps with the other two flowers. It should look something like this. Once you're done, you can just add your finishing touches. So for the ingredients, you're gonna need cornstarch, vinegar, and food coloring, and that's it. You're also going to need some measuring spoons and jars to separate the paint. So what we're going to do first is take two tablespoons of cornstarch and put it into each jar. Right, now 
now you're gonna take your vinegar and you're gonna put three tablespoons into each jar. Now I'm gonna take my food coloring and put it into each jar. Add a good amount if you want your paint to be darker. I didn't have exact measurements, so you can just eyeball. And there you go, you should have your homemade paint.